I've created a template for my properties. You're looking at examples of the template on the front end. You might notice that the images of the inside of the houses are missing. The best way to show them is by displaying a dynamic gallery or image slider. Dynamic means the gallery or slider will display the correct images when you click on each property. I'll show you how. First, I need to create the custom field for the images which I'll display on the gallery or slider. On the back end, I start by heading to the toolset dashboard. Here I can access my custom post types and edit any of the content assigned to it. For example, I'll click on the properties custom field. I now see all of the property custom fields. I need to create a new one and add the image field. I now name the custom field property images. Now here's an important part. A gallery or slider needs multiple images. Therefore, I need to make the custom field repeating by allowing multiple instances. I'll drag the custom field up so that the gallery or slider appears in the middle of the editor. I save the field group. Next, I add the images to each property post. I head to the property post type and click to edit one of my properties. I'm now in the editor for one of my posts. I go down to the property images custom field where I can add all of my images for my property. As I select my images, on the right you can see the captions which will appear under each one. When I finish, I update the post. Let's add images for another post. Back on my set of properties posts, I click to edit another and once again I add my images just like I did for the previous post. Just to be clear, here is where you add the correct images for each post. Now I need to create the gallery or slider in my template. I head back to the toolset dashboard and click to edit the content template for properties. I'm now on the template for all of my properties. Remember, we are not editing individual posts here, but the template for all of them. See at the top how I can switch between the posts, so I can see how each will look with the template. I'll scroll down and I'll add my block. I'll start with Toolset Gallery block. I can find this block and all other Toolset blocks under the Toolset section. There are three types of galleries I can add, Grid, Masonry and Collage. For now, I'll click the Grid Gallery. I click Dynamic Source as I want each post to display its own images. I add my Properties Custom field as the source for the gallery and the property images repeating field which I created earlier. Just like that, I have a gallery. But what if I want to change the order of the images? Remember that I'm currently on the template, so I can't edit individual properties posts. I save my template and head back to the same post. Once again, I head to my Properties Custom Post Type and click to edit the first post I added the images to. I'll swap around the first two images. I'll update it and if I head back to my template now, I can see if the first two images have swapped around. And as you can see, the first two images have switched. On the right hand sidebar, I can edit the gallery. Under grid settings, I can change the number of columns in each row.
increase the space between each image and also crop the images so that they're all the same size. Below under gallery settings, I can keep or remove the caption and also add a light box. If you're wondering what that is, a light box is when an image you click on fills the screen. Back on the back end, and I can also adjust the size of my images. Below that, I'm able to change the caption text by either entering static text or from a dynamic source. I can also do the same with the alternate text. And if I'm not happy with the grid, under gallery style, I can change it to one of the other two styles. Here's the gallery and masonry form. And now to collage. When I choose the collage style, I can select one of Toolset's layouts or even design my own, but I'll cover this part in a later video. Notice how under collage settings, instead of adjusting the number of columns, I can change the height. I can also change the collage layout as well. Don't worry about the grid in blue. You'll learn about that in the video on how to create a custom collage layout. Not only can I change the gallery style, but I can remove it completely and replace it with a slider containing the same images. To do that, I need Toolset's Image Slider block. Once again, I'll take my images from dynamic sources and from the same field as for the gallery. On the right, under display settings, I can change the number of images you display Crop the images and also change the slider style. Here we have the main selected image with a row of all the images below it. The final style is the same as the first but without the light box. Before we look at the front end, I'll change the post at the top so you can see how the images for the slider are coming from a dynamic source. I'll click to view the post on the front end. And here you have it. The post is complete with a dynamic slider. And on another post, we have the same image slider, but with different images.